Hey, it's Ron, and I'm here with... Al. Al. And Al, I'm dying to see the new CRM 2011 integration with SharePoint. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. And so you've been playing with it for a bit now. We talked about it before in a yeah, previous yeah, a bit, video. Yeah, yeah. So what, so exactly, what is it? What do you have going on with it? How does it work? Uh, well, it's, it's um, obviously a, a very cool integration with, with SharePoint. Um, and actually, it really does bring um, a seamless integration. So your documents, um, you can put them into SharePoint or CRM. And either way, they end up in the same place, so which is the right place in SharePoint. Right, right. Um, hey, maybe you could show me. Could you show me zooming in? I'll zoom in on your screen sure. here. Okay. And you could show me what you do. You're jumping to a company or a contact, or tell me what you're going to do. Yeah, well, I'm not going to talk about the setup of this too much. Okay. Other than just as a warning for guys out there that, that, that um, in the beta mode, I could not get this to work. <laughs> Okay, but you now have got it working. Yeah. And what? Due so to CRM 2011 going online a couple of weeks ago, or right. live, uh, it works. Okay. So, hey, awesome. There you go. Okay. Okay. So, so just in 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 action itself, um, I'll go find an account. Okay. Um, and I'll go to. This account, hopefully this has not got a document library already. Okay. And you see because I've set the document library up, we've got a documents folder. So on the left nav, there's a documents folder. Okay. Okay, so this is the first time I've come here and this is the way okay. I've set this up. Right. So this is saying, look, um, we want to create a folder in the library, which is your SharePoint library. Oh, okay. Under account. So it automatically manages the document library in SharePoint for me, yeah. for companies, contacts, at any entity. Any entity. Okay. How good awesome. is that? That is very good. I really like it. And what you get then is that, that you actually get the SharePoint okay. component here. So you can add a document in there. Yeah, this is fully functional SharePoint component. Oh, okay. Um, so where is that in SharePoint now? Can you jump out to SharePoint? Like we're in CRM right now. I can uh, show you it, but uh, hey, let's see if we can find a, a document to add to this thing sure. first. Sure. Hey. Is there any text file or anything on the <laughs> desktop there? <laughs> There's never going to be one, is there? Mm. <laughs> okay, well, okay. How about the one that... Um, oh, yeah. Didn't Olivier have a document there on his desktop? Uh, I think he might have done. Well... Well, now you're not on Olivier's desktop anymore, are you? You're on your own desktop. <laughs> Let's create a text file on the desktop and just drag it in. Okay. Uh, I'm going to imagine if we call this test. Fantastic. Hey. Can you attach a document with no content? There needs to be something inside the document. There needs to be something inside the document. All right, could I be a scam. And garbly gook in there. Perfect. Okay. How much time did we waste on that? Oh, no, that's fantastic. This is great. So now we're on a company record. We're on a company record. In CRM. CRM. We're on this company's record. We're right. in the documents. We've got the documents there. Okay. We've got a fully functioning SharePoint piece. And hey, let's go and check because, you know, this yeah. looks like CRM to me. So jump me out to the so SharePoint now. How do we know it's in SharePoint? Well, let's open up SharePoint. And it's already stuck it into document library. Oh wow, yeah. that's fantastic, Al. How cool is that? Yeah, so that's got the really account. cool. We've got the, the, the name of the account, right. which it sets for you. Right. And then we've we've got this document under there. Hey, you know what? That is great. And you know what I want to hear more about quickly, Al, before we run away, because sure. I want to keep this short. So most companies, they've got SharePoint, they've got the document library, they're installing stuff. Who cares about CRM? Why? What? Why? I mean. I know why I want CRM. It's the structured data, unstructured data argument. But why does a company care about having a CRM? They've got SharePoint. Um, I, I may be mildly biased in in terms of CRM, but um, I, I don't believe CRM. I don't believe you can hold the type of data that you hold in in CRM in SharePoint. Right. It, it does some rudimentary database. Um, functionality. But it's not a true database. It's not a true, true database. Relational table math holding yeah. structured data. No, I don't, I don't think you'd want to be putting your um, enterprise data in there. Right, okay. Well, that's fantastic. Hey, Al, thanks. That's great. 
CRM, SharePoint, it's integrating. You know, we could spend another video next time taking a look maybe at what it does to the underlying document library in SharePoint. But it really is yeah, quite simple to set absolutely. up. Absolutely. It? It's worth also mentioning that you don't have to follow that structure. You can set it like I'd done previously to, to say, hey, set this folder structure up and it'll go right. and create it. Okay. Um, just another point on that. If yep. you've got um, opportunities, for instance, and you create a document in there, it can set the opportunity uh, documents folder under the accounts folder. So okay, it's actually perfect. in SharePoint altogether as well. Ah, okay. um, but also That's actually an issue. I was at a client site and one of their VP sales had said, well, I got this document. It's, it's for this opportunity. Do I save the document against the opportunity? Do I save it against the company record? Do I save it against the contact that I'm working with for this company on that opportunity? Where does the document live? The document lives in the SharePoint. And the CRM opens a window into the SharePoint. Well, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. but, but, but for the seamlessness for the users, the, the document just lives in the application that you use, right. whichever one it is. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. The fact that it's held in SharePoint is another issue. Okay. Last point, got to get this over. Um, if you've already got a folder, li a, a library structure built up with the SharePoint, you can actually still use that structure by just setting it on the, on the record itself. That's fantastic. Hey, Al, that's great. We're running long now. Uh, where can people find you on the web? Um, um, a. Ashton at knowledgetech.com is my email. Excellent. And I'm Ron DeGiusti, and I'm also at Knowledge Tech. Thanks.